at Mount Hood Village, Tiny House Village. Now today is a special treat for us because as you know, we love tiny house living. It's our philosophy, it's what we're living with the casita, and we really want to explore this lifestyle some more. We just happened upon it by accident. Wow, were we blown away. This place is amazing. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at three of the properties. This is also a great way to see if the tiny house lifestyle is for you. Why not come, rent one, check it out, and see what it's like. Even though each tiny house is unique, they all have farmhouse charm with wood paneling and butcher block countertops and beautiful light, light colors with big windows that just wants to bring the light right into the space. So to start with, we have this beautiful gray kitchen, again with the butcher block countertop, deep sink, stove top, mini fridge with freezer, and you have your coffee maker, your knives, your cups and plates. And this one does have a wardrobe, so that's very handy. There's a dining area right opposite the galley style kitchen. And there's a coffee table book and it happens to be of Tumbleweed Tiny House Company. So the manufacturer of this tiny house. So you can take a look through the book and actually get the layout and have an idea of the specification. So if you stay here and you want to order one, well, you'll know exactly the specifications of this tiny house that you stayed in. Over here we have a seating area and you can watch television while you're sipping your morning coffee. There's also an air conditioning unit and like Savannah you have a loft up here but it's not for sleeping, it's for storage. There's a single bed back here and to the right there's the three-piece bathroom with shower, toilet and mini sink. Once again we have the loft bedroom upstairs and the stairs have drawers for storage. So the one thing I can comment is about this. Not sure this was well thought of because it's okay for me, I probably would miss it. For Dory who's 6'2", he would definitely hit his head on this. And there's a ton of extra space here at the foot of the bed in case you want to store some books or clothing, some little boxes, storage boxes. And again, this is a double or a queen, but it could fit a larger size bed. And again, three windows, so a window on each wall bringing in that beautiful natural light. 